We are currently on the Big Chico Creek Ecological Reserve, which is a subsection of the Big Chico Creek, and we are conducting snorkel surveys, where we are estimating the abundance of fish populations in the Big Chico Creek Ecological Reserve. We are snorkeling this area because the Big Chico Creek is a tributary to the Sacramento River, and it is one of the few relatively intact hydrographs, meaning that the flow regime of the creek is natural. There are limited fish passage barriers, which is rare for watersheds in the Central Valley. So we do have the Iron Canyon fish passage barrier, but we don't have several other barriers like large dams that other creeks in the area have. And this creek does provide habitat for anadromous fish species like steelhead trout. Anadromous meaning that the fish are born in the creek, will go out to the ocean to um, grow up, and then they come back to the creek to spawn and reproduce. And so we are one of the few tributaries that still has this relatively intact hydrograph that is conducive to providing habitat for these fish. Uh, snorkel surveys work by having several snorkelers that will line up and proceed in unison up a specific habitat unit. Surveyors will begin and communicate with one another, start in the creek and snorkel their way up and check out the different fish species that are in the area. We tally up the counts of each of the fish and then we get to calculate an estimate of abundance for the fish that were in the creek in that particular area. A pro for snorkel surveys is that it's, it's relatively non-invasive, so we are not handling these fish at all. It's observational. Um, while we're in the creek, we're able to see the fish pass by. We don't have to touch them. We don't have to pull them out or stress them out in any way beyond being in the creek with them. That is an improvement on other sampling methods that we are not able to use on rare or endangered species because they're more invasive, like netting fish or electrofishing. A con to snorkel surveys is that we potentially miss some cryptic species like sculpin because they are so good at hiding and we're not able to see them while we're swimming through the creek. And then if we are looking at fish that are really abundant, it's difficult, if not impossible, to count all of those fish. Snorkel survey started in Visur in 2013, and so far we've learned a lot about the watershed. We've found that after drought years, we see reduced abundances in several of our fish species. And then after wetter years, we do see a recovery in those abundances. We have also found that there are three different mussel species that are in the Big Chico Creek watershed, which is pretty cool. So we have the California floater, the Western pearl shell mussel, and the Western ridged mussel and these are rarely found all in the same area, so that's pretty interesting. And then we also do get to observe amphibian species in the area as well. We're hoping to continue these snorkel surveys because they are a great way to understand how fish species are doing in the watershed in case there are large changes in terms of maybe removing a fish passage barrier like Iron Canyon, we would be able to compare baseline data that we have that estimated abundance of fish historically and then how it affected fish later on. The hope for the future of this project is to continue doing snorkel surveys to help manage the populations in the area and see what trends are occurring as a result of different management actions, changes to the environment, and climate change as well, and how climate change is affecting the watershed. Thank you.